Guys, if you're back home in Nigeria and you're trying to apply for this job, maybe you want to get sponsorship to come to the UK, there are some certain things you need to, to know and there are some certain things you need to do. Hi beautiful people, welcome back to the Blessed Times. How are you all doing? And I hope you're having a great time. Yeah, so in today's video, I'm just going to talk about healthcare assistant job how you can apply and get your job on time okay to my new subscribers i see you all and i love you guys and then to my real g's my old subscribers thank you for always coming back to support your baby girl thank you so much and i really really appreciate so guys let's go into the video so today's video is just going to be about um applying for a job as a healthcare assistant here in the uk what they expect you to have, what they expect you to do when they employ you, and you know, just what the job is all about. So first of all, before you apply for this job, guys, I, I advise that you read what the job description looks like, okay? And then that will also help you to um, structure your CV in a way that when they see, they just know that you are good for the job. And another thing with working here in the UK is that they pick those who have experience over those who do not have experience. But if you don't have, if you feel you do not have experience, don't worry. I'm going to ex explain better, and then you see if you fall into, if you fall into the category or not. So first of all, before you apply for this job, you need to structure your CV in a way that. Um, meets the job description. So you want to talk about your personality, you want to talk about the skills you have relating to the job, okay? Now you want to talk about your experience. If you've done um, any care job before, you want to talk about that in your CV. And then guys, on that thing, make your CV attractive. Have your photograph on your CV. Make your CV look very, very organized, you know, and make it presentable also so some of you will be saying but i don't have any experience i don't even know you know where to start from yeah do you know that if you've cared for somebody before for instance your aide, your grandparents your uncle your auntie you've taken care of them do you know that is part of your experience and then that can fall under you doing volunteer work that is work that you just do you know out of love and all that so there are some um, the skills that they expect you to have. They expect you to be compassionate, they expect you to be caring, you have patience and all that. So you won't talk about that in your CV when you're writing it. You won't like explain your kind of person, your personality, and make sure that it fits for the role you are applying for. Then another thing again that you need to do to increase your chances of getting this job is to take some courses online relating to what you're going to be doing okay so guys there is this um website florence um website here yeah. i'm going to just leave a link in the description box where you can click on it and take free courses why i'm recommending this one to you guys is because after taking those courses you'll be given certificates and you can use those certificates to when you're applying as proof that you've taken those courses one thing about um, employers here in the uk is that they want people who know what they are doing because working as a carer you're going to be working with you're going to be working with um people who are very very old and people who are very very delicate and they don't want to employ somebody who will put them in trouble and on that thing guys if you do not have a particular knowledge or experience please do not claim to have it so for instance manual handling if you've never done manual handling before just be honest and say i have never done manual handling but if i'm offered the opportunity to do the um training i'm willing to do the training so they want to see somebody who has who is committed or who has this zeal to you know learn and to, to work with his or all her heart. I don't know. How to so somebody who has zeal and passion for the job, that is what they are looking out for. So you want to express yourself and you know talk about how passionate you are for the job. So guys, I'm going to say this. If you're not a patient person and you don't know how to endure 
and you don't have compassion please i'll advise you to not apply for this job because yes they are offering visas now and everybody's rushing into doing care but i found i found out that so many people don't even really know the job description before coming here and after maybe a month the person is frustrated and all that so you don't want to um face that kind of thing so whenever you're applying or you want to apply prepare your mind you know and then once you come you enjoy the job so after your application you'll be called for an informal interview now that may seem very very informal and you'll be relaxed but i tell you guys that is going to be like your stepping stone so they will tell you that they're going to have an informal chat with you they just want to hear how you speak they want to see the passion in your voice and how committed you are then if after that particular um, informal meeting depending on the company or the agency you have, you've applied with if they see that passion and hear your voice and see that you really know what you are saying then they will now book you for a formal interview so guys i'm going to make a video on the kind of questions they ask when they interview you the kind of questions they ask kind of answers they expect you to give to them you know and i'm going to make a video on that for you guys okay so many companies now offer training because they want to be very sure that you know what you are doing so even after having even if you've done some courses and you have the certificates from maybe you've done online courses and you have your certificates most companies will still offer you most companies will still offer to um, train you you know for you to like have a refresher course or courses and then for it to be and for them to be sure that you know what you are doing because they don't want casualty or a problem when they employ you so on that thing again guys if you're back home in nigeria and you're trying to apply for this job maybe once you get sponsorship to come to the uk there are some certain things you need to to know and there are some certain things you need to do and i'm going to be talking about them here in this video okay so now for you to become a healthcare assistant here in the uk from nigeria maybe from another country you need certificate of sponsorship and that is where the main problem lies because there are so many companies that are available to that are offering jobs for, for carers but we have limited companies offering certificate of sponsorship okay so there are a few companies that offer certificate of sponsorship and then your cv the trainings that you've had your certificates that would be like your driving force so many people that have gotten their certificate of sponsorship most of them are not even nurses most of them have never even done like care because obviously we do not have care homes in nigeria where you can say they have had experience or had prior experience so but these people have done a lot of trainings online some even paid to do um some trainings okay and then when the company that you applied to look at the trainings you've done look at your cv your experience your personality your commitment then they can now decide if they are going to um, offer you certificate of sponsorship for you to be able to come to the uk as a carer now guys why it is difficult to get certificate of sponsorship is because those companies actually have to pay to the government to sponsor you to come here so they don't want to waste their money they want to be sure that you can um, deliver when they bring you over to the country okay so you need to sit down and prepare for your application if you're applying from another country it's more difficult than when you are here in the uk so you need to prepare very very well you need to take courses that are relevant okay i'm going to drop uh, i'm going to write down some like trainings that you can take on florence that are relevant to healthcare or um, jobs okay or jobs as a carer I'm going to try my best to leave that for you guys in the description box uh, in the description box okay so guys while you prepare for your application you need to be ready yeah? because if you're called and you're told that you have an interview and you're finally offered a job and then you don't have an international passport you can see that that is a waste of effort so the first thing you need to do now is to get your international 
passport ready while you wait and apply i'm going to leave a link of the video that i did on how to get your international passport on time okay somewhere in this video and i'm also going to leave a video on how you can get your um dependence visa to the uk somewhere also in this video and also guys once you've received your um once you've received a confirmation message that you've been um, offered this job the next document you need to go after is your criminal report certificate okay you get that one from the nigerian police you need that you can't come or apply for your visa without it if you're coming here to do any health work so guys this brings me to the end of this video and i'm very sure you have a lot of questions for me i'm down in the comment section waiting for your questions and i'll be happy and glad to answer you all thank you guys for watching this video and please remember to subscribe to my channel because i'm going to be dropping a lot of content concerning travels studying in the uk and um, working as a healthcare assistant okay see you guys in my next video do have a lovely day bye